Morning, Lemmy. Today we're cooking with Lemmy. Oh, no, we're not actually, are we? We're baking with Lemmy. Because today, Lemmy is going to do scones. Because that's what you want in the tour bus scones. We're going to do two types of scones the classic tour bus afternoon cream tea with jam and cream. And then later on, uh, after the concert, when you've got the groupies back, you want the cheese scones to uh, entice those young ladies to uh, well, eat cheese scones actually, uh, and other things probably. So we've got the ingredients out, obviously for the self-raising flour and milk, baking powder and butter for the actual scones, then for the mixture, extra mature cheddar cheese, and then for the strawberries and cream one, well, strawberries and cream, <laughs> quite a simple ingredient. Um, cooking might be a different matter though. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Right, so um, the other thing is, if we look down here, I'm using a good old Delia Smith. My well-worn book, actually it's my wife's book. Oh, A. Watson actually, no, it's my book. Gain a happy birthday, Alison. But I've written my name, it's actually getting a bit, getting a bit torn. Uh, anyway, on page 619, she's going on about the pastry cutter size. And she says, for the jam and whatever one, that's that size. Which is uh, uh, six centimetres. Well, I think that's too small. I think that's one the one you should use for jam and cream, and that's the one you should use for the, the cheese ones, because that just looks too small. But and then I can't, I've not had scones for a long time. That's a bit wonky, isn't it? <laughs> They're going to be triangular, those scones. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I might have to, uh, I might have to round those off a bit. Good. So yeah, and also there's the, uh, there's the. Uh, what we need to use to do it, we've got a jug for the milk, sipping the flour, air ball, and obviously measuring how it's quite important today. Got to get air quantities right. The other thing is that I'm giving it for my tea tonight to my gorgeous wife Gainer, so uh, uh, who owns the, that Delia book, or did do. So I can't do it straight away because you have to have them warm, don't you, Emmy? Look, the dog's just seen a. Ah, oh, he's seen a wood pigeon. Right, yeah, Lemmy, we got to. Uh, Got to start it off now. I wonder if I can put it on the side and just leave it for a few hours. Uh, probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway because we've got other things to do today. Right, back soon. Lovely day today, isn't it, Lemmit? It is. Ooh, get your suntan lotion on. Yeah, fat. Uh, ooh, what would you need? Fat. Uh, you need probably uh, 20 for that warty face of yours. Yeah, you want those warts going uh, funny or hairy. Right, okay, so we've uh, finished off our. Uh, chopping and uh, grating and uh, weighing out so there's the the flour I've got two lots because I'm doing one cheese one strawberry jam and cream and also got my butter there at room temperature cut into cubes I got the ch grated cheddar for the top of the scones on the cheesy ones and that's for the interior now I did follow Delia's advice on all the ingredients, but I thought there wasn't enough. So I've sort of multiplied it all by 50%. And then I've added a bit more cheese, so God knows what it'll be like. Also, I've got to wait for uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Me to come home this, e this afternoon, because you, you have to heat them, eat them warm, because they go stale very quick. So I'm going to pre pre-make them all, well, almost pre-make them, and then uh, do them at the last minute. So you're not supposed to do that either. So it's all very experimental. But we do like experimenting, don't we, Lemmy? Even though we haven't got a, a cocktail today. I'm actually drinking urine, or urine, because it's very good for your kidneys, apparently. Uh, so the internet says. Uh, baking powder there to go with a bit of salt to add it to my self-raising flour. And right, the next time you join me, we'll be creating uh, the first one. I think I'll do the, uh, should do the cheese ones first, or the, cream you want. Let's do the cream and uh, jam ones because it hasn't got any, as many ingredients. I'll be crumbling my butter into my flour etc 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 and then uh, I'm not sure I'll have to cover it up I guess. I could wrap it in cling film couldn't I? Yeah that's what I'm going to do and wrap it in cling film. Ooh sexy. It's time for some action. 
I'm going to start doing some mixy mixing and some uh, rubby re rubbing of buttery buttery. <laughs> I sound like I'm talking, I'm, I'm sound like Big Chef, Little Chef here, yeah? the uh, popular programme for young ch children. Uh, yeah, right, good. Uh, yeah, sorry, Lemmy. Sorry, Lemmy, that was a bit childish, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm actually still quite sober, which is worrying because I, I do like to have a few drinks before trying these new things. I have got a drink there, but uh, yeah. Where's me butter gone? Where's me butter gone? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I've lost my butter already. And also, I forgot that uh, you're supposed to put caster sugar in this one. You don't put it in the cheese one, but you put it in the strawberry and jam one. I haven't got any caster sugar, so I'll be using normal sugar. I'll just cast it in there. Cast the sugar in. It must be almost the same thing. Where's my bloody butter gone? I found it. It's supposed to be room temperature, but it's in the fridge. But man, it's so hot here today. And those, actually, those, those are probably too big. I'm going to be forever going like this. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Bit of Tommy Cooper there. Tommy Cooper action. All right, let's sift this flour. Oh. Ooh, I don't know why you have to sift there because it's bloody fine anyway. I mean, some flowers have uh, grains in them, you know, those really like healthy ones that are wholemeal that still have the husks. The husks. Well, actually, look, that has got some bits in. Ooh, Tesco's. Got the cheap stuff, you see. Oh, look at that. Are they mouse droppings? Right, that's my roughage. Right, we'll just mix it up a bit. I took that out the door, as you do. Oh, and now also we need a bit of baking powder, one teaspoonful. Actually, no, I'll put that in after the butter. Let's do the butter thing first. As I said on my wedding night. <laughs> we did a lot of cooking on our wedding night, me and my wife, yeah. Oh, yes, we made the uh, crepe Suzette. <laughs> yeah. Set fire to the wedding bed. Shouldn't you use brandy? Oh, oh! I got my hands on a nice pair of oranges that night. Uh. Right, let's get this butter in. Oh no! Keep get calm down. Now this has to obviously turn into a crumbly mixture. Let's see how it goes. I might have to stop the video here, but I've got buttery hands. I can't even do that. So this is the, the sort of action you want. It's almost like you're uh, giving a very small person a back rub. A vertically challenged small person. Or a mouse. Hamster, gerbil, or even guinea pig. I think they're called cavies, aren't they? Yeah, Captain Cavey was a guinea pig. He was hairy. Yeah. Ooh. Getting muscle fatigue. This is the way you need a Thai bride. We can do that action as well, that's a bit cheating. That's cheating that is. I'll do that later when we've got more of a crumb. I hope I did my ratios right. I mean, it's never going to go into a crumb. Or else it could go into a batter. That'd be even worse, wouldn't it? Butter batter. You can't put a butter bit of batter on your knife. That's for the oldies out there, James. Right, uh, I'm going to turn the camera off while I do this with, with my dirty fingers. I have to do it with my tongue. Oh, there we go. Oh. At this point, I will have put in, if I, if I was uh, not too lazy, I might have put in one of the SpongeBob things saying 20 minutes later. Well, actually, no, that, that was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in, <laughs> in Terminator. 20 minutes later, 40 watt range. Yeah, so it, it, SpongeBob does that thing where he says, uh, a long time later. So I might put that in. All right, but actual Arnold Schwarzenegger saying uh, 20 minutes later, we could find a clip of that <laughs> before he shoots someone with his shotgun. Uh, there's the beer. Now you can see it's turned 
What's it turned into, Lemmy? It's turned into a soft crumb that's gone yellowy, which is ideal. <laughs> he says optimistically. I need another drink at this rate. I've actually got a repetitive strain injury from crumbing that up. I've got another one to do yet. That's got cheese in it. Holy moly. <sighs> Ooh, do you want to get dehydrated on a hot day of this while crumbing flour and butter? <sighs> right, so let's put our other ingredients in. We've got, uh, well, Delia said uh, a, a table and a half of um, caster sugar. Well, I'm multiplying everything by 50%. Uh, so that's uh, 2.25 Heaped? I'm not sure. Let's just stick in Well, that's Yeah, well, that's one well, Let's just stick in two. Fuck it. Good uh, And then a bit more baking powder because we want we want our bad boys to rise Like Jesus Ding And a pinch of salt Although obviously salt stops, well it stops bread rising, but this might give it a bit of extra taste. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Now let's just stir it in. It's looking almost professional, isn't it? I bet Lemmy's pointing at me saying, you're the man. I don't even have to look around to know that because you can appreciate it's a good cook. A good baking session up there, up on high in my kitchen rafters. Now, the final bit now we've got 225 ml of milk, it was supposed to be 150, but I multiplied by 50% again. I'm not going to put it all in at one go, I'm going to put bit by bit, and at the last moment, I'll use my hands rather than the knife. Because Delia said, do that. Lightly, lightly powder your hands, she said. Oh, I suppose that's better than powdering your nose. I'm in the kitchen, not the toilet. Oh, I never drink, I think. I love this glass. It never falls over, look. It just, it just rotates. You can never knock it over, like, like a normal glass. It does spoil at the top if you do it too far. It's like the wall of death. Do you remember those? Good. Oh, I wonder how many shares are doing. Oh, no, don't think about that, Andy. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, uh, that was a joke. An in-joke with one of my mates over in uh, Kierland. I see you ought to have a, a theme park called Kierland. Yeah, that'd be good. You get to drive around on, uh, the kids get to drive around on those electric tracks. Uh, but they're all shaped like Kia cars, like a Nero or whatever. And, and they're electric as well, which, which is uh, environmentally friendly. Oh, that, right, let's try the milk. I'll put in uh, a third. Let's give it a stir. This is, if, I, if I've got my measurements wrong here, we're in trouble. I'll just keep adding milk. Or oh, sucking it out. Oh, I'm getting me my arm's going funny again and that's me wanking hand as well you'd think it'd be all right wouldn't you yeah mm, get in there not everything don't put it all in we're not peeing off today oh yeah Ooh, we're at the, we're at, at that point i think the more i mix the more i mix it here and, oh no I'll just nudge my camera. I've put too much in. Or is that just right? I'm sticking to the ball. I think it's going to be quite. Where's Fanny Craddock when you need her? Very interesting story about Fanny Craddock. She uh, was married to four people at one point, at the same time. And uh, who was it she married? John Le, Me Le Measure, Me John Le Measure, 
the guy who was on Dad's army, he was uh, shagging it um, in, in the background. That seemed quite good. See, it's like you dust your fingers. Bit Percy Pepper. That is spot on. He says. Oh, he says as an intended to be an expert. Oh, look how clean that bowl is. Whisper could have licked this. Didn't bloody eat that cheese off the floor. I thought he'd hoover it all up. That is ding dong dang dong. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now, I'm actually not going to use. Actually, is, is it a bit. No, I think that's alright. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm saving it for later, and I couldn't find any cling wrap, so I'm putting one of these, uh, these little plastic things that my wife normally uses for dog poos down in the garden. <laughs> and actually, he just produced something that's normally bigger than that. Oh, he's a big boy. His bowels work very well. Right, so let's just get all the air out of that. Spitfire flying overhead. Let's just do it as much as I can. Let's stick it in the fridge. Good, that's one down. Throw that on the floor for Whisper, who's not, not eating it all up. Oh! Got it back! Oh, I've got back pain again. Ugh. Stick that in the fridge. Well, I'm delighted with that experimental thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up a bit, <laughs> unbelievably. You've got to keep the tour bus clean, haven't you, Lemmy? Apart from that sticky back seat. <laughs> Say no more, just nod a bit. Uh, I'm going to clean it up a bit and we're going to go on the cheese ones. I'm looking forward to this, I like cheese. Back later. Time for the cheesy scones. Lemmy, we're going to go off peace with this. I know we like to be on peace. <laughs> and we normally are pissed, but we're going off peace with this because I'm going completely different to what Julia says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what does she know coming from Norwich? She's never going to be as good as Alan Partridge. Norwich's finest uh, celebrity. I think he married a car Shaggyan, didn't he? Which one was it? Jenna, probably. Or was that Jameson? I'm not very good with car Shaggyans. It's Jenna and... Is it, oh, oh, Jenna's a nice one, isn't she? And the others are all, all a bit too uh, bootoxed up. I'm digressing. Yeah, I don't like any of them, actually. Oh, no, hold on. My camera's steamed up talking about the car Shaggyans. Yeah, actually, I might go viral just mentioning them all the time. I wonder if they make uh, scones in their uh, reality TV life with Lemmy hanging up there. They've probably got a BTS t-shirt or something. Yeah, youngsters, shoot them. That's the only language they know. <coughs> right, I'm looking forward to this bit, apart from the fingly crumbly bit. Which gave me a, ooh, a bad back earlier and bad fingers. Anyway, let's go again. We'll do a similar sifting. See what little bits we find. I might find a tadpole or a stickleback at this rate. I like this bit because it's quite easy to do. Unlike the uh, the butter bit. Oh, we've already got them. Can you see them? My go. Where do they come from? They're the bits of the husk, I think. They just just escape. It's it's all right though because when you eat them, it sandblasts your teeth. And to be honest, people put currants in scones, which is like it's like eating kidney beans in a chili con carne. Disgusting. There we go. I've got most of them out there. Actually, I should really put them in because it's healthy. But actually, I'll throw it out the door. Oh, there we go. Good. That's the end of that one. Ooh, spotted dick. Oh no, don't put my flies up. <laughs> right, no, that's enough crap jokes. Let's do the butter thing. <laughs> no, I don't like this bit. 
there needs to be an invention and a mechan uh, electrical thing that uh, got a USB C uh, charger and that just mix it just has a two hands that mixes this in. <sighs> right, I'll be back later when I've done this bloody thing. Lemmy, have you heard of the flake advert? You, you you know the song, don't you? Well, this is not chocolate, but this is only the crumbliest, tastiest scoop mixture ever than before. Uh, it got easy that time, to be honest. Oh, I've got I've got lighting issues. The sun's come out in England. Let's move over a bit on my tripod. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, it actually turned out easy that time. The, I wouldn't like to be the guy who does it, who supplies Tesco's with the uh, the scans, because he must have to do 100,000 a day. His arms look like Popeyes. That's probably his nickname down the pub. <laughs> it's probably called Bob. Popeye Bob. Yeah, so that went, went quite well. Ooh, go on. <sighs> right, let's get the old is that in focus? I know my eyes aren't. Right, let's do the same old thing again. You're not supposed, according to D, you're not supposed to put baking powder in, but I've cheated so much, I'm gonna still do it. Ooh. And the salt, of course. Yeah. I'll use a teaspoon this time. Get it all scientific. Five millilitres. Right, and this time, of course, we've got the cheese. That's for the topping later. Dry it out so it'll be even more dry when it goes on the top. On this one, when you do the scones, you have to put a bit of milk on the top so your cheese sticks. Ooh. Actually, what I'm going to do, I've already got some paprika, smoked paprika. I'm going to, I'm going to do Andy style. Let's just sex it up a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I think I might put black pepper granules on the top as well as the cheese. Ooh, matron. Right, it's a stirry, stirry soul in. I'm not sure if I need more or less milk this time because it's got the cheese in. It's all very experimental. Well, let's all mix this together. That, that bit of cheese is not... My grater let me down. Uh. That's looking pretty. <laughs> uh, well, it's looking pretty nodgly. Is that a word for cooking nodgly? I got that from my the Georgie uh, student coming out in me. Uh. Yeah, the cheese is quite lumpy. I maybe should have gone for a finer grind like the top. Who knows though. It's play it by ear, which is quite sad actually, because really for cooking you want to play it by mouth. I'm the Helen Keller of cooking. That's a... Good. Where's my whisk? That'll get the bastard. Good. Right, I think that'll do. Oh, apart from that one. Okay. I could spend all day cutting just lumps of cheese up. Finer and finer. Let's start with that milk. Alright. Sorry, I threw you in the floor. I need you again. And I need you. I hold out my hands and I love you. Mm. Let's try that bit first. We did really well with the last one. I'm not convinced that this will go as well. Sticky size is a slightly good thing. Let's mix this a bit more before I put the next lot in. Get it more homogeneous. Because that's what I am. I'm not a genius at cooking. I'm a homogeneous. Yeah. Gay pride. <laughs> uh, no, all right, okay. <laughs> that was a joke too far. I'm sure somebody in California might enjoy it. 
There you go. Yes. <laughs> and send me a wav. I do love him to death. Oh. That's pretty good, actually. I just serve it up like that. There we go. I think no, I'm going to leave a bit, oh, a little bit more. Don't get claggy. Ooh, not like in my toilet expedition. Yes, last last week that got really claggy. Oh, wait, here we go. I think we're all right. Oh, I put my flare away. I've got a flare in my hands. Or do I? It might be so good, I don't have to flare my hands. Just do it in the knife. Right, let's try it with my hands that are unflared. Oh, it's already sticking. This might be slightly too dry actually, but it's turning out absolutely fantastic again. I'm not sure you can make all the... I'm glad I did all the 50% extra or else I'd had hardly anything to make me scones. We do like eating when we, when we want, after all this effort. We don't just want to eat. I think that's slightly, probably too dry, but we'll see. No, it's fine, I think. Oh, <laughs> that'll suck you up, you bugger. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can see the bit of cheese in it and the paprika, actually. It looks a bit like uh, the moon that the uh, oh, uh, that uh, the uh, soup dragon was on. <whistles> bit of cheese. <whistles> oh, the soup dragon. <whistles> the clingers. I need to get the boat out. Right, anyway, we haven't got a boat, but we have got a poo bag. Ah, you see, my Holly, my get, my daughter Holly. I don't know about uh, the soup dragon. Right, stick it in the fridge and we'll go from there. Ah, it's been a good cooking experience so far, although I've not cooked any of course. We've still got to get it to rise. Rise like ooh, the wind. Ah, uh, good. And of course, ooh, that didn't go well. Of course, I might have had a few uh, more uh, lemmy cocktails that aren't cocktails later. They're urine. Ooh, yes, lemmy. See you later, mate. Toodles. And again, thanks, lemmy. You've been a, a source of wisdom this afternoon. I've got uh, things melting in the microwave. You can probably hear them. Better to turn it off actually. Right. It's been a windy afternoon at Chez Andy on the cooking. Oh, God, that's hot. So we're going to do the baking. Now it's been a very windy afternoon and that's blown off twice all that baking paper. So I'm going to do what, here he comes, Whisper comes in. Oh, you've got to get into the app, don't you? All right, no problem, big boy. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you eating this after all. Okay, get him back to the radio. So, Julia says, Always put your a bit of oil on your baking paper. So I'm going to do that. 
I'm not sure this will help or not. It might actually stick it down a bit to the... Underneath never does any harm, does it? Mm, good. Looking better. Fairly stuck down well there. Might want to trim this bit off actually. Ooh. I've got a bad back, I'm just taking two paracetamol. Mind you, I've always got a bad back. <laughs> so, what's new? Alright, come on, stick that down. I don't have to use super glue. Let's get that in there. That's good. Right, right, there we go. It's going to be pretty good. It's quite slimy. My uh, scones will not stick. Mm. Right, I'll put that to one side. That's a bit extra for that bit. Mm. Good. All right. Let's get the scones out of the fridge. You know the crumbs earlier for the. Uh, the butter into the flour yeah i got some good uh whisking oh, back in there got some good whisk action for my uh my cream don't want to over whisk it though oh that'd be good let's put that in the uh oh that tastes good i need a cat here to lick that let's put that in the fridge excellent we're rock okay it's the final step it's been a really hot day the, the dog still suffering i put my uh dough in the fridge just to stop it melting then i put it it got too cold then i put it over there in the, the sunshine just past the lemmy lemmy didn't keep an eye on it did you so it went a bit sort of like uh uh melty just like the china syndrome you know the bit where it melts its way to the entire core anyway we will persevere i've been rehydrated with lemonade and uh, water but it's final it's finally time for the last san miguel just to give me confidence, I'm going to use my uh, special 1928 beer bottle because I'm crap at <laughs> rolling stuff. <sighs> that is very cool. It's, it's a, a godsend on a day like this. Right, which one's actually the cheese one? Which one's the uh, the normal one? Uh, I think that's the cheese one. It's got a uh, paprika in it. A good good idea, Andy. That one seems less actually. Let's try the normal one. No, actually, uh, mm, all right. Let's try the normal one first. Let's put some. Let's sprinkle a bit of flour down. Now, these are going to be in this one. It's got to be the same height, so it's not going to be too many. I got my milk there for brushing off the uh, the cheesy ones. But you don't want you don't want the milk on the uh, the non-cheesy ones. You just want a sprinkle of flour. Right. Let's see how we get on. He says optimistically, make it into a patty. So I want it that uh, depth. So we can. The, the great thing about this is it has to be super. Well, I said super thin then. And you know, very, very, or extremely thin. I want it that height. So that, well, let's put there as a, a judgment. Right. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Oh dear, I, I do have my people actually who can roll pastry well. <laughs> Unlike me who never does it. Actually, that's probably actually, probably too, uh, 
I think that's all right. I think we'll, we'll go for that. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, who cares? Right. It might be too thin still, actually, considering. Well, let's see. Oh, fuck it. Can't be asked anymore. Well, actually, that's all right. That's one. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. Oh. I bet the next one's a bit bigger. We can have two lots, yeah? Ooh. They cook, they cook, actually, they come out quite well. They look quite small there. <laughs> A blubber jam and a blubber cream? You're laughing, aren't you? Yeah, I think that, as a first go, I think that's all right. We've got uh, five, six out there. Let's go for two big ones. Mm. Mind you, they might not cook as much. Let's... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's all sucky and see... Oh, there we go. Ding. Now that's probably what you want, actually. Yeah, that's probably a... Uh... <laughs> come on, come on, my baby. Come on, my baby. Now that's probably actually what you want. Right, so we can compare and contrast those little ones with what you should get. And <laughs> this is a Frankenstein's one. Oh. That's a big bow, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. That's a really big one. And one left. So yeah, I, I think they should be looking like that, shouldn't they? Right, so when you do the cheese ones, we'll, we'll learn from that. Yeah, they should be like that. <laughs> I know immediately before you even put them in the oven. Delia was right. God damn her. Damn her. Good. I got three good ones, and the well, two good ones and the mutant, and uh, well, uh, yeah. So, hold on a second. Ah, you see. There we go. You see, nobody will know the difference. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> I'll edit that bit bit out uh, later. Right, let's go and do the other ones. Where's your one gone? This is the cheese one. Right. Right, that's a, that's a special needs one, isn't it? Oh, good. Right, let's uh, stick that on the baking tray, actually. Ooh. Uh, first of all, we've got to put a bit of... Uh, just got to sprinkle it with a bit of flour. Ooh. Ooh. Good. We'll stick that on the baking tray. Can we see the baking tray? Ooh. We can now. Smear it, smear it on. Make it open. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, they're coming apart. Uh, no, um, no, disintegrating. That's good. Ooh. Right. So that's the. Uh, the jam and cream one's done. Let's get on to the cheese ones. I've already put cheese in, in the middle of these, of course. Let me uh, dust me uh, rolling pin. You don't actually need that, actually, to be honest. It's so thick. Just have to get the thickness right. We've got the bigger one this time. Uh, let's just cover it up. I'm enjoying doing this, actually. Yeah. Oh. Right, let's just. Uh, you don't have to actually roll it, you just have to. Uh, well, you actually really do actually roll it. Well, actually, it's a bit more uh, crusty. I'll do some. Uh, I think that's about right. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Spot on. Oh. That'll do me. First one. I can get another one out of there. Ooh, I can't quite do that. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Well, that's a big boy, isn't it? 
and another one. Oh, I'm not quite. I didn't quite do that, did I? Let's just watch it in a bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Ooh, wrong way up. Yeah, and that's crusty on top as well. Yeah, I'm liking these ones. They're a lot easier. <laughs> he says optimistically. Oh, can we get two more out there? Okay, we're back again. Run out of SD space on my GoPro card. And, and so, <laughs> finishing off on my Sony one. What do you think, Lemmy? That's what happens, isn't it? Yeah, I'm slowly getting to not want to do this anymore. It's been such a struggle. Good. Anyway, let's uh, finish off a bit of milk on the top of these ones rather than flour. Ooh. I've been looking quite good though. He says, optimistically. Oh, Ooh, that's a, a, got a, a bit of a crack there. And this is my Frankenstein's one. Right, that's enough of that malarkey. Let's continue. Ooh, I, I've got to get... See, I'm not used to this uh, Sony camera now. We're all out of uh, alignment. Oh, right. That's better. Good. Oh, we're almost there. I'll turn the oven on in a minute. Right, let's put this uh, last bit of... Oh. oh, God. Right, last bit of uh, stuff on the top. Bit of cheese. Let's put them in the oven. God, I'll be glad when they're in there, actually. That's quite dry, actually, that uh, cheese now. Uh, I hope these are all right, he said. Well, as you would. Uh, Good. Uh, it's been a hot day today, hot day of cooking. Right. I'll throw that in the bin. <laughs> so finally, we've got the uh, the scones and the cheese scones. I'm going to stick them in the oven at 200 centigrade, which is gas mark 74. Ugh. If you're not using a fan oven, use 220 centigrade. Yeah, and his top tip. And we'll put in the top bit and we'll be laughing, won't we? We won't be laughing, Lammy. Good, I'll be crying at this rate. Oh, one last shot of Lemmy. I'm not even going to bother doing these sweep or hold the entire tripod on. Yeah, you rock, mate. I'm, I'm, I need a beer. And a cleaning cloth. There we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> you ran out of bloody SD card space, you bugger. GoPro. Use a Sony camera. Right, there we go. Uh. So, it's 20 minutes in the oven, and then we'll serve them up and we'll see what they're like. I'll do the uh, full presentation once I've cleaned this mess up. They're ready and they're rocking. All right. All right, okay, so they're not perfectly uh, level. <laughs> A bit ship shape. All right. <laughs> uh, I did put two on top of each other there. That's a good one there. Oh, look at my cheesy ones. Pardon the expression, matron. Woo! We're gonna give it up. Ba, ba, ba. Let me. We rock, don't we? Ever going down. Never gone. So let's get it up. I got me cream. I got me uh, strawberry jam. I'm gonna get the bus rate for the uh, cheesy ones. Woo! Let's roll.